Fool around. Give me the real deal. Coop, I'm going to tell you this. This was one of the most fun games I've been to all season long, guys. It had big plays, late lead changes, and drama. What else more could you ask for on a Friday night? Wait, I forgot to mention great weather. Just a perfect night out on the west side. Bobcats go right to work. Cosmos Cuete mainly plays right tackle unless they put him in on the goal line. Those rugby skills. They're paying off for you, buddy. In for the touchdown, 6 nothing Central. Cosmos plays defense, too. He never comes off the field. The fumble, the big man picks it up. That's a perfect scoop and score. I think it was a high step and dives in, 14 nothing. And this is what I call a special handshake. I call this the double dab and curl. But Carl Hayden would score 17 unanswered to set up a final drive, final chance for Bobcats with under three to play. So here we go, Humberto Peralta, the lob pass to Isaac Size. What a catch on third down. Move the sticks, stop the clock. The next play, Peralta fakes the pass. Look at him running around, but guess what? Keeping his eyes downfield, he's gonna hit a wide open. Daryl Knighton to move the ball inside of Carl Hayden territory, but a few plays later though, Central trying to complete the comeback. Unfortunately, the ball is picked off. Ball game, but guys, still, what a great game. Tough ending, I might say. All right, Isaac, come over here, buddy. I know it's been a tough season, and I know it was a tough loss, but you guys never quit. Where does that mindset come from? Man, I think it's just from us always practicing every day, having the coaches there for us, making us do these crazy drills. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I just think it's, we just got to practice more. Yeah. That's really it, and that's all I could really say. Those crazy drills pay off. That's how you stay in the game late. All right, where is Eloy and Cosmos? Come here. Yeah. If you missed it at 6 o'clock, these two guys, they moved here two years ago from Africa. They were rugby players, had no clue what football was. Now these two will likely be playing D1 football on Saturdays next year. Cosmos, I'm going to start with you. What's tougher to learn, rugby or football? I mean, both sports are easy to learn. All you got to do is keep your mindset right. Like, it's right in front of you what to do. So both are like the same thing. And this is where your rugby skills pay off when they put you in on the goal line. That's when you say, hey, you really like the ball in your hands so you can find the end zone, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to score a touchdown every time we get a chance. Yeah, definitely. That's that's tough to tackle. You're a big guy. Uh, Eloy, I, I know you're hurt right now, uh, but I have some video of you on the sidelines being like a second coach to some of your guys. Why is that important to you to be that second coach on the field, even though you can't be out there? Oh, it means a lot to me. You know, the boys are everything to me. It's family. You know, even though I'm hurt, you know, I'm still with them in the spirit. And then, you know, I'm improving greatly. You know, I should be out shortly, but, you know, I'm just out here, you know, being with my team and then finish the season strong. Yeah. Real quick, give me a yes or no. You excited to play college football next year? Oh, sure. <laughs> I am excited. Perfect. There we go. Uh, Coop, better watch out for these two guys next year on Saturday. We'll send it over to you.